It's one of the questions that I get all the time. Rob, how do I practice sight reading for my auditions? I think the reason that people get so freaked out about sight reading is because it's different from the other stuff you have to do in an audition. You can't actually prepare the specific music like all the other music you're preparing for the audition. I mean, it's overwhelming. You feel like, do I have to know every part of every symphony just in case they might ask it for the sight reading portion of auditions? Or do I have to read through every page of the Arben's Trumpet Method? Do I have to learn all music ever? And the truth is, sight reading is just like any other part of audition preparation. You can find a process to work on the skill of sight reading, which is what I wanna talk about today, how to practice sight reading for auditions. The first thing I'll talk about is the superpower that you have that allows you to become a great sight reader. Then I'll talk about what music to sight read, like what exactly are you going to feed yourself in the practice room to work on this skill. I'll talk about the strategy of what to do right before you start sight reading, like you walk into the room, you look at the music, what do you do before you actually start? And then I'll talk about what to do during sight reading, how to actually deal with looking at the music and continuing on. Sight reading is a major part of my audition preparation. It's something that I do on a daily basis when I'm preparing for an audition. If you wanna see the kind of layout of how I prepare for auditions, you can go check out my audition cheat sheet. It basically goes through the five major steps of audition preparation so that you know the actual process of steps that you should go through between the time you get the music and the time of the audition at robnopper.com slash audition cheat sheet. And by the way, if you like this video, I would love it if you shared the video on Facebook or YouTube, gave me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any future videos on how to practice or how to prepare for auditions. So every human being is born with the ability to adapt. You can adapt physically to anything, you can adapt mentally. If you go to the gym um, and you just start doing the same bicep exercise, your muscle will notice that you're asking it to be stronger in that area. And if you ask it every day by doing the bicep exercises to get stronger, then it will start adapting to your needs as a human being and it'll start growing. The same thing happens in your brain. If you start driving all the time, um, at first it'll be weird and you'll feel like it's uncomfortable and it's awkward, but eventually your brain will rewire and it'll get used to the act of driving. You'll literally feel yourself start to become accustomed to constantly looking in the different mirrors and getting used to where all the knobs are and it'll just be easier and more comfortable. Sight reading is the same way. It's a skill. It's a thing that only gets better if you develop it by forcing yourself to struggle with sight reading every day. That brings us to point number two, which is what to feed yourself. So you want to sight read every day, but you don't want to work on something too easy. because then you won't actually get better at the skill of sight reading and you don't want to work on something too overwhelmingly hard because your mind will shut down. What you want to work on is something that's just on the edge of your ability, something that just pushes you. It's easy enough to get you in the door and to get you started, but then it's a little bit on the difficult side so it forces you to think. And as you develop your skill of sight reading, that level will get progressively harder and harder and harder. So maybe you find something with somewhat easy rhythms, but the actual melody is a little bit harder than you're really expecting. Or maybe the melodies are easy and there's not many accidentals, but the rhythms are a little bit on the more difficult side. Whatever it is, you want to find any music that just seems a little bit on the hard side and just make yourself try to sight read it every day. That's the methodical part. You'll start getting better at it if you do that every single day. So the two areas to keep in mind while you're actually in the act of sight reading is what you do right before you start sight reading and during sight reading. Right before you start sight reading, that's your time to prepare you'll start to notice that it's easier to do the sight reading 
if you look over the music before you start because you can kind of see the range of register. How high does it go? How low does it go? Um, what kind of accidentals are there? What kind of time signature are you in? What kind of tempo is it in? The person listening to you, the judge of the audition, is going to be so much more impressed if you choose the right tempo, if you basically have the right accidentals, and you just go. You can miss notes. It's fine. Everybody's going to miss notes in their sight reading. Then, while you're actually doing the sight reading, once you've started, you'll start to develop this skill of looking ahead while you're sight reading. I pretty much have this going on when I'm playing any music. I'm playing, but I'm also looking ahead to the next measure so that I'm scanning forward for any future things that are coming. So my eyes are kind of on the next measure while I'm playing the current measure. And this kind of works. After a while, you get used to it. It's really awkward at first, but it helps with phrasing and it helps with just not getting lost. Because if you know what's coming in a measure, then you can shape what you're doing in order to lead the person who's listening to the next measure. But also, if you're looking ahead, it sort of helps you prepare physically and mentally for what's coming up. Um, so that it doesn't take you by surprise when you get there. I wrote a long blog at one point about sight reading and how to work on it and how to approach it in your daily life. Um, you can check that out. Um, I'm going to put it in the comments of this video on YouTube. Um, otherwise, I would love it if you downloaded the audition cheat sheet. It'll help you in your audition preparation. That's at robnopper.com slash audition cheat sheet. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you in the next video. See you later.